Today's topic is pertussis. Pertussis is a highly contagious bacterial disease of the respiratory tract, characterized by an uncontrollable violent cough, followed by a high-pitched intake of breaths that sounds like a whoop. The condition is also known as whooping cough and is most dangerous in infants, especially ones younger than six months who are not protected by immunizations, and kids 11 to 18 years whose immunity has decreased. The incidence of pertussis has diminished greatly since the introduction of the pertussis vaccination, which became available in the 1940s. The main aim of the vaccination was to reduce the risk of severe pertussis in infants. In 2015, an estimated 16.3 million people were infected with pertussis worldwide, with most cases in the developing world. In this same year, pertussis resulted in 58,700 deaths, down from 138,000 deaths in 1990. Complications of pertussis in infants, especially those under six months of age, may include pneumonia, brain damage, seizures, dehydration, weight loss due to feeding difficulties, slowed or stopped breathing. In teens and adults, complications that tend to occur as side effects of the strenuous coughing may include bruised or cracked ribs, abdominal hernias, or broken blood vessels in the skin. Causes Pertussis is caused by a type of bacteria called Bortadella pertussis. It spreads from person to person when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or laughs, small droplets that contain the bacteria are sprayed into the air and breathed in by anyone nearby. When the bacteria gets in the airway, they attach to the tiny, hair-like extensions, or cilia, lining the lungs. The bacteria releases toxins which damage the cilia and causes swelling and inflammation. Symptoms The time between infection and start of symptoms for the condition is usually 7 to 10 days, but can be as long as 21 days. Symptoms are usually mild at first, and they may include runny nose, cough, fever, nasal congestion, red, watery eyes. After a week or two, symptoms worsen. Accumulated mucus in the airways will cause severe and uncontrollable coughing that may result in a red or blue face, provoke vomiting, cause extreme fatigue cause inhaling with a whooping sound. Children under the age of 18 months should be watched regularly because the coughing spells can make them stop breathing. Diagnosis and Treatment To make a diagnosis, the doctor may ask about symptoms and listen to the cough. Medical tests that may help in confirming the diagnosis include a nose or throat culture and test where samples collected from the nasopharynx is checked for evidence of the causative bacteria. The nasopharynx is the area where the throat and the nose meet. Blood tests to check for white blood cell count. White blood cells help the body fight against infection. A high level may indicate the presence of an infection or inflammation. A chest x-ray to check for the presence of inflammation or fluid in the lungs. Treatment Treatment may involve the administration of antibiotics drugs that may clear bacteria from the throat of infected people. For infants, hospitalization is recommended because pertussis is more dangerous for them. Intravenous fluids may be necessary if the child can't keep down liquids or food. The best treatment is prevention. Pertussis can be prevented by vaccination with the pertussis vaccine. According to the World Health Organization, Initial immunization should be administered as early as six weeks of age, with subsequent doses given four to eight weeks apart at age 10 to 14 weeks and 14 to 18 weeks. Over time, the immunity from pertussis fades, so additional doses of vaccines are recommended for older children and adults. Experts recommend that kids 11 to 18 years get a booster shot of the vaccine. People who live with or come into close contact with someone who has pertussis should receive antibiotics to prevent the spread of the disease, even if they have received vaccination against it. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.